Stand by for podcast. Yay. KJ, I love your shirt. Thank you very much. I almost wore my uh, Spider-Man shirt. Yeah. But... Oh, I wish you would have. Patches, why do you hate <laughs> Spider-Man? Is it just the live action Spider-Man? Is it the oversaturation of Spider-Man? What yeah. is what is the Spidey hate? Is it like Pedro Pascal? You just dislike him because he's everywhere? Yep, pretty much. <laughs> it's like, how many, how many times do you have to kill Uncle Ben? Okay, that's great. Every I don't time. give a oh, shit. That's right? like, how many times do you have to watch Batman's parents die? I okay. know. Are we recording? Yeah, oh yeah, we've been recording. All right, all right. right. Extra stuff for the... Can you please get this off my head? Extra stuff for the patrons. (laughs) I feel feel really, really dirty. I feel like this is going to get us more patrons, right? I mean, that's that's Miles Morales, which is fine, but... Yeah. Oh, I love Miles. I'm going to watch that movie later. It was so good. Oh, God, it's killing me. Uh... I watched that movie, like, later after a lot... Like, after it came out. I think I watched Mm -hmm. it during the pandemic, and I was like... Let me get down to finally watching because I don't watch a lot of animated movies. And I watched it and I was like, I understand why everyone loves this film. Oh, okay. you know it what? Great? It's the lowest grossing Spider Man film. Because I want to say because it's Into animated. The mm-hmm. Yeah, really? Lowest grossing Spider Man film. But it yeah. won a free, didn't it win awards and all mm-hmm. that stuff? Yeah, it won yeah. awards, but it, it, I mean, it made money in the box office, but like out of all the Spider Man movies that they've made, that is the one that made the least money. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's I, think it was be- I think it was because it was animated. Maybe we'll just get into the show. We'll do, I know, we'll, we'll do, I got a fun fact. <laughs> but I, I think it, part of it was because no one, I, I don't think they did a good job early on of marketing what it really was it was just like oh there's gonna be a spider-man cartoon movie in december yeah because i didn't even want to go see it when i saw the previews for it no because we were i remember because it came out it was the same december we were planning our kind of nerdy night out movies same year venom came out and we had to do that in october but then in december it was like what we really don't have anything i think like Little did we know. Well, are you kidding? Of course, we knew Aquaman wasn't going to be great. Hmm. Um, uh, you thought it was because right we bought it. I was drunk when I watched it. I, I, that's so why I thought all, it, there's it was only very one pretty. Re- there was only one reason why anyone thinks that Aquaman is at the top of the list in the DC, and it's all because of Jason Momoa. <laughs> oh, I was going to say mean, Nicole, so I was gonna say Nicole Kidman, but yeah, you know, that's me. Yes, yeah. I do it love was, Nicole Kidman. I had too many cocktails at Studio Movie Grill beforehand because <laughs> we do these pre-parties, and normally I don't drink, but for some reason I probably thought I you usually have to like a drink to see Aquaman, and then yeah. I just remember it being so pretty like it was a beautifully yeah. done movie it just and so in my mind i was like this is great and this is a dc movie that i really liked i'm gonna boom buy this and then we were watching it and i said to him i did i like stopped and i was like <laughs> i was drunk when i watched this <laughs> she actually started with i just want to say i'm sorry <laughs> i mean i want to say like not to start the trashing DC segment early, but mm, I man. think that the standard for DC movies is pretty low that you're like grasping at Aquaman. I went back and rewatched it after the Snyder Cut, and there are a lot of good things about the Aquaman movie, but there are a lot of like plot holes and okay, you know, things yeah. that didn't yeah. make sense or anything like. I always felt, even in the theaters, that the introduction of Black Manta and why he does not like Aquaman was so rushed. It was like instant, like, we're pirates. We hate you. My dad's dying. Help him. And it's like, well, you killed people. I'm going to leave. And it's like, now you're my mortal enemy. And it's like, what? (laughs) Before I leave you to die, what's your mom's name? I want to say that this is Martha. Martha. This is actually really funny because as I was getting notes together for tonight's show, there are some DC things that I was actually like, this is kind of cool to talk about. We're not going to trash DC. We're going to say nice things. And we haven't even officially opened the show yet. And here we are. So, yes. 
Let's get to the show open. Ping, 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 ping. Welcome once again to Kind of Dirty Girls Podcast. We'll get to some nice DC things, we promise. But first, foo, choo, choo, our fun fact for today the Marvel character that you like the least. Okay, mm, here we go. Choo, 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 pow, 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 pow. Welcome to back to the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. She'll have a gaming update soon, but first, let's introduce Gamer Katie. Uh, uh, pass. I don't have an answer yet. I have to think. <laughs> I, just, I, went, I, went I mean, to Iron Man I would be the easy answer. answer. It would be the easy answer, but the expected one. Iron Man is your answer. You're not supposed mm. to make this up. That I'm is... going to go. I'm going to go Vision. Oh, my gosh. Huh? Yeah. Vision. Because I feel like he's lame. Always. All right. All right, Even after right. WandaVision? Yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> She's like, especially <laughs> after WandaVision. All right. All right. I support you. Poo, choo, 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 choo. Bow, 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 bow. Joining us from the kind of nerdy dudes. Bow, 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 Producer Patches. Wow. That was outstanding. Patches. Thank you. Uh, this... <laughs> I don't know how to react. I'm sorry. Uh, I think my answer is going to come to to no shock of anybody. It is Spider Man. Hmm. Uh, or Tom right. Holland. I no. love Tom Holland. I think he is a fantastic Spider Man. I have nothing against the way Tom Holland plays Spider Man. He does it brilliantly. I don't like Spider Man. Period. Well, Can't bring me Spider Man. <laughs> Give me pictures of Spider Man. <laughs> When we are watching the Avengers, his reactions to Tom Holland are so like there's so much joy. He laughs. He like he he. I don't understand how you can say. absolutely love him in Civil War, in uh, Infinity Wars, in Game. Love him in all of those because he's only in it for a finite amount of the movie. <laughs> and he can he can he can come in, be his little smart ass Spider Man self, and then leave. And that's all I need. I don't need two hours of my life dedicated to him being an awkward teenage smart ass. Nah, we don't need your anger. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> she may tell us what she's been weeping about. She may not have weeped since the last time we talked. We'll find out soon. It's producer Jana. Hello. My least favorite Marvel character is Hawkeye. Oh! <gasps> what? Well, Jonah. I mean, he's kind of lame. Don't, I'm don't just going to go right to, Thanks, to our, our next guest because I know where this is going. <laughs> choo, choo, choo. Joining us once again from Geek Vibes Nation. <laughs> it's Tia. Thank you everyone for having me again. I always have a fantastic time. Yeah, my least favorite character is Hawkeye. Uh, 100% yeah. Hawkeye. And I disliked him before I got nasty messages online for my opinion of Hawkeye. And I hate him even more after getting nasty messages about my dislike for Hawkeye. So What? Who, who came at you about Hawkeye? <laughs> So really quick, like, I forget who it was one of like the big scoopers on Twitter said something like, who's excited for the Hawkeye show? And I literally just responded going, no, not me. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I was getting these random messages from people who uh, they had to have been trolls, bots or something, because when you went to their profiles, they had virtually no followers, no posts or anything. And they... I'm not going to say any of this on on live because it was just nasty, but very serious, like oh. threats and everything oh where it's gosh. like, <laughs> and I'm like, it's a fictional character played by an actor who you've never met before, who makes a lot more money than you will ever in your life. So it's like, why are you hating on me? Tia and like, the Marvel cinematic review that we do with geek vibes that, some of this comes from you 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 don't have a a big love for jeremy renner right a Same. lot of it comes mm, from that i'll say that like listen i haven't seen his huge portfolio right i really liked hurt locker you know but mostly for the writing i mean honestly it probably could have been anyone in that role and i would have liked it really my huge dislike of jeremy sorry my huge dislike of jeremy renner 
came after the first Avengers movie when he went on every single talk show that he could, complaining that he only got 10 minutes in the movie and most of his role was being brainwashed. And I'm like, yes, because you don't have powers. You're like on the bottom of the totem pole of Avengers, right? Like Thor is a literal, literal god. Captain America has super soldier serum. Tony has the awesome suit. Black Widow has badass moves. And you have arrows. And it's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're here. <laughs> you're here. Yes, girl. Preach it, okay? I think that's the point, though. Like, he's supposed to be the normal guy. Right. Which is fine that- if they had someone, I feel like, who delivered it better. I don't know. It's just like, to me, it's like, don't bite the hand that feeds you. And I'm like, this was early on in Marvel where they they like said okay you're bitching about things and what we feel bad so we'll dedicate a solid like 20 minutes of our next avengers movie for you to have some time with your like wife and everything and i apologize no 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 no. i just want to you tell it speak your truth did i did they really do that or was that always his character's trajectory and he didn't know that yet and he spoke too soon because i feel like in the overall arc, and this is why I like Hawkeye, is because he did bring the human aspect, but not until later, not until we 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 saw him Wasn't with his family, Ultron, yeah. with, with Ultron, yeah. when he's like, you know, like throwing his hands up in the air, like Jesus, Wanda, like, <laughs> like yeah. and I got like, a bu- and I have like, a bone hour. None like, of this makes sense, right? <laughs> like I get it, like none of this makes sense, and he actually admitted, like all I got here is some freaking arrows, mm. and I'm going out there. What's your problem, witch? Mm. You know, mm. and so I. <laughs> I appreciated him kind of bringing that like occasional, like, I'm not an Avenger. I'm not anything special. And I'm still fighting for what we need to do and, and kind of making sure that the Avengers knew that like, Hey, there's a human here. Like y'all get over but yourselves. They had a human with Natasha. She well, had, yeah. as far as we okay. know, she has like no a train also a human. assassin or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, but yeah, but like, technically he's a trained assassin too. Some group. Like the normal guy <laughs> right. shows up, totally lost the whole time. Like right. he's Scott Lang. Lang. Giant he's Scott Lang with arrows. Except Scott Lang's power is way cooler. But Scott, with, the, the difference the, the Scott, between Scott Lang is here, like King level, and oh, you know, yeah. like Clint Barton it. is here. <laughs> the thing that makes Clint different from Natasha is that he she was broken her entire life right like yes they're both human but he he has that side of him that is kind of normal and she is her she's got baggage and she's broken and he and i don't know that they explain this enough in the mcu but he really helped humanize her he helped her overcome she gravitated towards yeah Yeah. and girl get some therapy and move on come on she did. She got a she got a best friend, and his name is Clinton. He and he's not a therapist. <laughs> no, but he, has, really but he has her best friend. At yes, point. Steve was like, her bestie. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, my, na- my name is KJ. My least favorite character in the MCU is Star Lord. Uh, yeah, uh, traitor. Girl! Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. I now I Peter Quill. <laughs> I, no. No. We hate Peter Quill here. Okay. Oh, oh, go ahead. Be- because of of Infinity yes. War, I'm sorry, Katie. Yes. <laughs> Control right. himself for five minutes to prevent the world from ending because your but, girlfriend died. We when? Knew, not the world, the universe. <laughs> we knew how Peter Quill was. Remember in Guardians of the Galaxy two, it's like Don't he could have had cleaner. he could have had the powers of a celestial, and then he ego is like, oh, I put that tumor in your mom, and he was like, so I'm like, of course he's gonna fly off the handle, and you couldn't hold it in. For nope. 10 more seconds. Right. No. 10 Here's, seconds. And to go back around to this, Hawkeye's like going to throw himself off a cliff to save the world. And I Star Wars is like, you took my girlfriend. You took my girlfriend. Not just one, not just one girlfriend, Gamora. Oh, I man. would much rather it's Your have girlfriend Gamora. that didn't even like you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> your girlfriend that had a really shallow pool of choices yeah that yeah that one that, okay that yeah. actually the was tree, like one of the best the guy. lines in endgame <laughs> oh yeah what was it it was either him or a tree yeah. <laughs> i 
like just the fact that should have held it in. <laughs> just the well, fact that Nebula and Gamora took a moment to roast Peter Quill in the middle of like the most intense battle uh, ever it was just hilarious. <laughs> it was as they should. It was like thank you. Thank you for this. He's the worst character in the MCU. And I do have love for him. I mean, I I'll, we'll go back and watch Guardians. And yeah, it's it's absolutely. fine. It's just where his character went. Like, no, this is not okay that you decided you were going to play with the big kids with the, the big stakes. And then all of a sudden, when the stakes are as big as they got, you go, <laughs> pew, 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 my girlfriend. Pew. No excuse. I know. All right. Mm. Anyway. That's not what we came here for tonight. Tonight we came <laughs> to celebrate a character in the Marvel universe, not in the MCU yet, but could be if all goes well someday soon. We're here to celebrate Mr. John Bernthal, a.k.a. The Punisher. As if you, you listen to our last episode, uh, we were running out of time when Patches was like, oh my gosh, we have to show Tia the pictures on our wall. So Tia is a big fan of of John Bernthal. And where did it begin? You and you and John? It literally began in the second season of Daredevil. The okay. moment he stepped into that hospital and started, you know, going, I was like, who is this? And why am I going to dedicate my life now to it? <laughs> <laughs> so I want to go there. to Katie and Jana. Katie, you first. Where do you stand on The Punisher? As someone who's never seen The Punisher, I have no opinion. <laughs> but I really did like him as Shane in The Walking Dead. <laughs> you know what? I, I accept that. Shane did nothing wrong. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he did lots I wrong. I mean, you, you, still, a, you like, left Rick for dead just to, you know, be with his wife and like weird yeah. surrogately adopt his kid. And that was kind of messed up. And then you didn't back off when he was actually alive. That was kind of weird. Mm, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> You're kind of sucked though, so it's okay. <laughs> okay, everybody on that show sucks. <laughs> <laughs> They're all equally terrible. Like there's no character. You're like, gosh, I just want this person to like succeed. Especially, <laughs> all terrible. especially now any of the good ones really kind of like died like the second okay, they I killed glenn watching. it was like oh sorry so they introduced they me again and i was like all <laughs> right i'm done i wrap it up here i'm good i realized yeah. there was a pattern like we go somewhere oh my gosh it's a new hope for a community or whatever prison the town with the governor you name it yada yada oh no there's people already living here guess we have to kill them okay now we have to move on all right let's find a new place to live <laughs> also and i know that we're on like the john bernthal topics specifically the punisher but i do want to add a quick response in support of what katie's saying especially with the whole terminus thing where they're like let's spend a whole season teasing them getting to terminus oh look this one episode they're so bad they're cannibals and i'm like oh yeah it's gonna be good and then it's and like then next, episode, yep. next episode they're defeated i was like no build it up for what? one episode <laughs> wow they're they cannibals the same thing all right we're leaving yeah. yeah, which was the reasonable lazy. response. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> uh, Jonna, where do you stand with John Bernthal in your life? Well, again, as someone who has not watched The Punisher <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and has seen, I've seen him in things, but like if I were to like, like I wouldn't be like, oh, that's John Bernthal. Like I wouldn't like no oh, oh my gosh that's yeah. shane walsh my, my friend but i will my friend he, <laughs> but he is a very attractive man if that helps with anything that's He's what very i'm thinking attractive. this is an he opportunity nice. yeah for you to 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 introduce some ladies and win them over to john bernthal <laughs> <laughs> i don't know I uh, don't think make that, like... don't make me watch daredevil please I tried to, and I I couldn't get into it. Just I love watch the, the Punisher, of Daredevil. So let just me, watch the Punisher. Let me honestly say that, like when the first season of Daredevil came out, I wasn't that into it. Like I tried, and the problem with those shows was they were thirteen episodes long, and that was about three episodes too long because they took too long. Mm -hmm. You would finally yeah. be three or four episodes in, and finally it's like, okay, finally we're getting to the meat of things. But it was like literally in the second season of Daredevil, at the end of the first episode, it's like all these killings are going on. No one knows who it is. Everyone thinks it's like this big, gigantic army. And Matt Murdock, you know, Daredevil is literally trying to find who it is. And then this like dying guy is like, it's not an like 
group. It's just one freaking dude. And the whole season is just like Frank Castle just mowing people down while also giving like the best emotional performance in that freaking show. We who are like Punisher fans tease that Daredevil season two was essentially Punisher season one because they're like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like who cares about what's going on with Matt Murdock and Electra and Claire? I don't give a shit what's happening with Frank Castle and what's happening with Karen. That too. Yes. I was a big shipper of that at some point. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Jonna, I think yes, yeah, season two you would like better. And definitely the the Punisher, just because it is the emotional performance that he gives, along with the like, I mean, the the violence that is happening with it, that you're just like, I mean, this was this served up the Punisher the way that the Punisher should be from the comics. And he gave that performance that you needed where there is, he is doing so much shit that you're like, Oh my God. Oh my God. But also you like feel his pain and you feel where he's coming from that. I knowing what you like, Jonna, I think that the Punisher would be a, a series that you would actually really enjoy. I mean, well, my dad, the Punisher Sorry, John. My dad did recommend that show to me, like when it came out. He he was like, he like texted me. He was like, "Hey, I think you should really watch this show, but also watch Luke Cage." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you never watch Luke Cage? Mm-mm. Mm, I haven't watched girl. any of like the Marvel TV shows. See, I was a big fan of the Netflix ones because they were so gritty, yep. and they did kind of exist within the mcu back when i think they were trying to make those connections because they mentioned captain america a few times the green guy they mentioned the wrath and then Mm -hmm. i think once everything folded they're like okay no those aren't part of the mcu but the punisher honestly could have existed on its own thing because it really had no ties to anything else and it really was just like its own little world yeah yeah are they still on netflix yeah, they're still Are, available yeah, they're still on there. Netflix. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, Patches, do you want to just? I, I don't know that this will be exciting for the people who are listening, but Patches <laughs> wanted to show you, Tia, that w- I have. Uh, We've worked with John several, several times. He is he a is, wonderful man. So nice. Is he as nice as I think he is? He is. He Even is. more. Uh, so, Teddy I've, Bear. I met Teddy him. Bear. I love him. I've met him twice through photo ops right and i'll say really quick the first time was at new york comic-con i remember being online and like whomever the worker was said you know you're gonna love this guy he is so nice and even though those photo ops are so quick it's like within that second it was just like so nice and he's like has this big he had like the big season one punisher beard and everything and he was like you know really like i appreciate you being here i was like oh my god thank you and then the second time (laughs) You're like, you do appreciate me being here, don't you? I feel that. I feel that like I feel your Punisher performance. (laughs) And I will say, the second time I met him was another photo op at the Big Apple Con, which is a much smaller convention. And, Mm -hmm. you know, anyone who, like, follows John Bernthal knows that he likes his, you know, he likes his grass and everything. And he was totally hi <laughs> at that apple con because it was a different thing because when i went he's like hey he's like it's so nice to see and i was like what are you smoking because i need some of that shit <laughs> <laughs> so, so tia at, when we work celeb photo ops i am I'm the person that gets everybody through the line. Like, remember, have your ticket. You She's know. the one that yells at people. I don't yell yeah. at people. <laughs> you do. No, I you get... yell at the talent. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, I, she screams I at celebrities. At, I yelled Love for it. Stephen Amell once, and he was literally right in my face, and I didn't mean it. But that's a different story. And I almost kicked a Walking Dead cast member out of a booth because oh I had gosh. no idea who it was. That's right. Okay. Who so... was he? <laughs> Austin Amelia. Austin Amelia. Sorry. Sorry after, Austin. I, after I already yelled him, <laughs> yelled at him and told him to put his camera away. Yeah. I would I didn't know who he was and he didn't know who he was. Yeah. I screamed at it like, sir, you cannot take pictures. That's I'll like the perfect the level photo of booth. Wait, and then that's right. <laughs> like nobody knows who you are, but you get up to shenanigans. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that oh is God. that's a really long story, and I will repost the I can't remember the title, but it's like mm-hmm. embarrassing celebrity 
moments or something because I was mortified mm -hmm. that I screamed sure at a, him. It's a highlight somewhere. Oh, it's oh, a classic. Yeah, I, I know yeah. it is. I screamed at him, and then he went around to the other side, to the exit of the to booth. the exit of the yeah. booth, and then I heard patches go sir you cannot and i'm like oh my god this poor guy <laughs> you can't win anyway long story long story that's a good one i'll, I'll repost it because it is it, it's a very long story but it is really they like funny. yelling at celebrities um i have never yelled at john i'm the person who right before you get into the door reminds you like you know have your have your purse off you don't take anything in the room that you don't have don't have your phone up blah blah blah, blah. no licking and, no kissing no yeah. biting and then <laughs> literally seriously, and then when it's it's done yep. like i walk in when the line is done and we've cleared everything we know no one's coming running because they're late and they get to go i walk into the room and they get excited <laughs> to see me because i'm the girl that goes everything is clear and you can leave so after uh, you take my picture after we take pictures together so i don't know why i think it's just <laughs> because he's so sweet but we always do a picture together i don't have well, all of them. He and Kitsy are buddies too. Yes. Like they always, they always clown around. Yes, yes. Always. Even she before he was the Punisher. Yeah. Do you, do you remember that? Although time he we... did his own photo shoot. Yes. <laughs> and do you remember the, yes. the the time we we were with Kitsy and Chris, and they needed they needed to talk to somebody, and it was in like the super VIP dinner room where everyone was. Oh yeah, it was in Chicago. And I didn't even at like Gibson's, yeah. at that point because we were watching The Walking Dead. I really didn't know. I didn't know who he was. And he was, I mean, and it is like literally every A-lister in that room. And we're like, what are we doing in here? And he was, he like, he started talking to me like, hi, how you doing? And like, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing in here. Like, and he was like, made it not so yeah. weird yeah he's like yeah i don't know what i'm doing in here either <laughs> so anyway patches is very excited to show you I'm that we excited. take some really great photos together oh, oh. for whatever reason uh, <laughs> is this a hoodie with no shirt this is a hoodie with no shirt yeah, and this john, was the john bernfeld's like signature look mm. like he was wearing it at near comic-con at big apple con it's like that's his thing the man does not know what an undershirt is okay right, or a right. Shirt. So, then the the pinnacle was i did not plan this but i love there that was we prepared these pictures by a way. day there was a <laughs> day that I, I was working his show and i had a black hoodie on and we looked at each other and he was like oh we're doing this and this picture happened <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He looks like some guy that just rolled up and is like in the wrong place, but no one's going to correct him. <laughs> They're like, sure, you can be John Burns all today. Yeah. I, put, like I heard up and he was like, yep. Yep. Let's go <laughs> gangster. Yeah. Oh my God. So that makes me so happy. <laughs> whatever reason, I don't know. Like, we just. I take the funniest pictures with him. I don't know why. It's never planned. We have it's a couple just, more that's in the stack. Yes, they're, it, it, just they're ridiculous. The it's just like here's my here's my goofy picture with John Bernthal. Well, next and time we, you run into him, be like, so my friend Tia has been trying to get you in for an interview for like three years at this point. Wow, <laughs> Tia is solid. <laughs> I want to be like, you'll remember her. She she went through photo ops at New York Comic Con, and you said you appreciated her being there. Yeah. <laughs> she like, you'll be like, oh, that Tia. That Tia. Of course. Of course. Oh, please. I'm going on my DMs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Give her my cell phone right now. Let's do this. Uh, <laughs> Hit me up. I love how everyone's like, oh, KJ, you're so nice. You're so good. You're such a dick. <laughs> I am a, I'm very nice. I'm very nice. I love it. I love it. Because it's like, no, no, it's it's so funny because it's like our editor in chief, Kanan, right? Mm -hmm. Who is the hardest worker ever, right? He is the guy who puts everything on our website. He posts everything on Twitter. He's like a nonstop working man. So when I started for Geek Vibes and it was like, I was going to start doing interviews, he's always like, all right, who do you want to interview? And I'm like, it's the same person every single time. And John Bernthal. And he's like, all right, I got this interview with this actor. I'm like, I'm appreciative of that. 
Where's my John Bernthal? But is it John Bernthal? But is it John Bernthal? Where is John Bernthal? Have we heard back from his agent yet? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> That's how I feel about Chris Evans, Tia. I, I, I feel like Chris Evans is on like another level of where I'm like, I don't know if that's ever possible. Like when I look at comicbook.com and they're like, this exclusive interview with Chris Evans. And I'm like, one day. One I day. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even need it. I don't even need an interview at this point. I, it would just be nice if he would acknowledge and thank you for receiving the Chris Evans Lifetime Achievement Award from the <laughs> kind of nerdy girls. You're welcome. I just, I just want an acceptance speech. That's all. I just even just a few Dude, words. The next show we work with him, we're getting an award made. Just something, just something real Paper tiny. Please award. let me know because I want to be there to present it to him. <laughs> oh, Wait, hell you gotta yeah. get the little um Remember at the fairs that they give you like the little trophy thing that's like best mom or something like yes. that. For <laughs> you should give him a goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I want one of those gold stars that we can stick on them like you got at school. Like you did a good Blue job. Ribbon. There you go. You did a good job. You like, oh, that's all I'm asking. <laughs> I don't think right, you're asking woo! a lot. It's time for Katie's gaming update. So it's Wednesday. I haven't played any games since Saturday. You guys threw me off with this midweek recording. The the update that I would like, Katie, is when are you going to start playing Red Dead Redemption on our Twitch channel? Okay, so actually... Um, here's an update. Yeah. I've been trying so hard to find out how to stream the first Red Dead Redemption on Twitch. I don't know if it's possible. What? Two, easy peasy. One came out on the 360. So oh. it's like at least 10 years old. And okay. I don't know if I can move it over to one of the newer gens that I can stream it. Because I can't even like buy it on Steam to do that. So I'm still working on that. However, I did buy a new microphone for this. I, you you sound, sound fantastic. Great. I know. Yes. Don't I sound so smooth? You do. Yes. 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 So did you used to work out. in radio for chance? Oh my God. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I started voicing commercials again. So like now I'm all fancy schmancy. Well, can there we, you go. Can you uh, give us a, a, a little commercial, a little tagline? A little tease. Like, oh gosh, you're putting me on the spot. What Come pressure? <laughs> that, that like for more information, go to. Oh. Yeah. What's our website? Uh, Kind of nerdy nerdy girls.com. For more information, you can follow us on Twitter or Facebook, or you can check us out at kind of nerdy (laughs) girls.com. Nailed it! Wow. I'm so fake. Beautiful. Hire hire Katie for all of your voice needs. And for for our patrons that are that can watch this stream, you're gonna love Katie's face when she did that. Oh, it's the face. Yeah. Yeah, it is so great. It's so extra uh, smile. Can you give me the sultry read? Like the the Oh my Cyrilla's read. Please. (laughs) We're fun and fantasy. Let me tell you about the time I had to voice a Cyrilla's commercial. (gasps) Oh, Um, Tia, do they have Cyrilla's by you? It's the it's it's the uh, adult store. Oh, it's like Romantic Depot. Yeah, kind of sort of. Yeah. Um, Well, the little Romantic Depot. (laughs) Yeah, that's the thing. That's the uh, big store. Where do you live? That's very to the point in the name. That's what I love. Yeah, this is like way too TMI of a story. But it's one of my favorites to share because okay. it's just so like awful. Excellent. So I voiced a Cyrilla's commercial, thought nothing of it, went on with my life, you know, as it's like customary to do. Mm-hmm. And about a month later, I get a I get a text from my teacher in col- from college. And uh, he's like, so I was just at Cyrilla's and heard you over the speaker. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like wow. Yeah, he texted me. He's like, Do you know how uncomfortable that is? Why would he admit that? It's like it's more uncomfortable now that you've told me. I'm like, yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. I was like, hope you like the commercial. <laughs> Katie, did you have to describe toys? No, it was more generic than that. So it was like, oh, you know, finding entertainment for you and your partner. Stuff like that. You know, fun for everyone and all that. Um, you don't really have to describe for everyone. Stuff. Yeah, right. <laughs> There's even something for the kids. <laughs> uh, maybe not. 
so I'm well, sure I still have it somewhere because I saved all the commercials I've ever voiced. So like, oh I'm Sorry. sure I have it somewhere, and it is that fake sultry voice that right, like let's hear it. it makes my hear... own skin crawl. I don't. I'd have to find it. No, um, I want to hear you do it with the kind of nerdy girl, or the kind of nerdy network. <laughs> Let's hear it, Katie. God, I can't even like look at you guys. Say it's fun for everyone. None of us are looking. <laughs> you can turn your camera off. <laughs> oh boy, will I? I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm not I'm looking. Not, you have to like get looking. into the zone. I'm totally looking. Okay. <laughs> All right, don't look. Okay, here we go. Uh, Katie in three, two, one. You're listening to the kind of nerdy girls where it's fun for everyone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you. And don't forget, tagline, you can please? follow us on Twitter and Facebook. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it here. I'm leaving. The best you guys. gaming update ever. Yes, it is. It has nothing to do down. with video games. Oh, <laughs> it, had, oh, it had everything to do with video games. Yeah, it, it has everything to do with fun for everyone. I mean, yep, it, it was fun with, for everyone. It had to do with games of some kind. Games. So technically, uh, it is a gaming update. <laughs> there you go. Katie, I will ask mm. in the kind of nerdy network if we've got any gamers that know or can help you with the Red Dead Redemption thing. Is yes. that us? We've got these 1,200 people in this group that you're welcome okay, to. Okay, come on, combined brain power. Let's do this. <laughs> Red Dead 2, easy peasy. Easy. Okay. Red All Dead right. 1, apparently impossible. And honestly, I, so I am... Research surprised and impressed that you have actually been working on this I so have. thank you thank you i know i like drop off the radar but i'm actually doing something i promise i'm proud of you <laughs> all right jada do you have uh anything to weep about yes oh it's time for what's got jada weeping <laughs> wait wait me <laughs> it's fun for everyone <laughs> this is that weeping <laughs> oh my god i hate it here <laughs> Forget my sound effects. Oh. Kate, Katie's taking over. This is the new oh kind of nerdy girls. See, I used to practice yes. my voice work by like reading Wikipedia pages in different voices. <laughs> so it'd be like the most sultry Wikipedia page you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> the Aardvark's natural habitat is... Yeah. I can tell you what, what's got Jonna weeping right now is she's literally crying from Katie, Katie's sultry <laughs> No, it's just I, I used to be I used to be Katie's assistant at the radio station. So I used to be in her studio when she would record some of these commercials and it would take everything in me not to not burst out laughing good. until yeah. she turned her microphone off. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. How were you in the room when she was voicing the Cirilla oh, yeah. commercial? No, no, yeah. that was that okay. was uh, uh, early in my youth. Okay. That's oh, yeah, super awkward. I might have right. heard her do one though, but Anyway, there's a lot more adult stores than you think there are. Just saying. <laughs> and, yeah, there's and, a lot. And they all need advertising. And Katie's the voice of all of them. Hey, uh, <laughs> find me on the internet. I'm available for hire. That's You should probably specify for voice work. Yeah, find yeah. me on the internet. <laughs> the internet. I'm available for hire when talking about sex shops. Is <laughs> well, why would I want to do that? You're going to need more clarification. All right, uh, Jonna. Jeez, why do you keep derailing us, Jonna? Focus. Whatever. You guys are the <laughs> ones who are crying and then talking about Cirillas. That wasn't me. I was just laughing the whole time. <laughs> oh, man. I hope we get sponsored by Cirillas. Oh, me Lord. Too. Then I got to voice it again, don't I? Yep, Full yep, circle. Yeah, nope. <laughs> you have to. All right, Jonna, uh, seriously, what's going okay. on? Okay. I started rewatching this series because I was I meant to watch the finale of the series and then I just did my Netflix got hacked and then I for, I forgot where I left off at and then I was very confused as to where I needed to go so I just somebody like, oh, else was over. using your Netflix unauthorized my, yeah my sister used to watch Netflix like at her job 
And then I guess she like left it logged in or something like that. And someone uh, hacked our account. Mm-hmm. It was real sad. You know how hard it is to take five years worth of Netflix recommendations and like know, algorithm and, it. and yeah. have to start all over again. Oh God, it was the oh, worst. Man. <laughs> but I started watching this show called The Cable Girls and it is based in Spain. So it's in Spanish. So Tia, if you want to watch a telenovela, the cable girls about... another crazy story <laughs> yeah it's, it's honestly like there's like there's like six seasons i think and they're only like eight episodes Dang. each but like i i started watching it because i had forgot where i had left off at and then when i started re-watching it i was like i remember all of the bad things that happened and then i was like pre-crying because i restarted it and i was like i just know that this person's gonna get shot and i I think and i and i remember when like the season that that person got shot like it was the very last episode and i had to wait like a whole year for the next season and i just remember when he got shot i was like you can't die bro like you have to (laughs) what is this so sad it's She's called the Cable Girls. <laughs> Honestly, it was so sad. I really, because I really liked his character. Like he's kind of like a dick in like the first season. Because like the whole premise of the show is this girl goes to be like they're all fighting for women's rights in like the 1920s or something like that mm-hmm. in Spain. So you know that is going over very well. And <laughs> so it's not. And so all these women are getting jobs as like cable girls because the telephone company is like a brand new thing, you know, with the operators and you have to connect their calls and like shit like that. Mm -hmm. So she goes to work for this telephone company as like an operative and to like steal money from this guy who's (laughs) for this guy who's blackmailing her. But it turns out this guy that she was in love with like years and years ago is like the head of the telephone company because coincidentally that's a thing, you know? Mm. it's starting to sound like the hallmark channel Mm -hmm. but like she has to like lie about who she is he's like you look like this girl that i know she's like no you must have me mistaken you know blah 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 and then he's like no i know it's you and then he catches her trying to like steal the money and then like he just loves her so much but he's married and she is she i know it's so sad and like i just remember like seeing him like the like the first time he like walked on the screen i was like i love that guy i just (laughs) and i'm just so sad that he's gonna get shot in one season again I, 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 don't even know what, Wait, I don't even know what, what if i wanted to watch it what yeah way to go oh Whatever. i was gonna ask for his name you guys are gonna watch it I, can't say nah. I don't know maybe tia will watch it nah I, real- I do i do very much like watching shows in like other languages just because i'm like hoping one day that this brain will retain another like language <laughs> and it just never happens yeah I, like one day after so many years of watching like narcos or something i'm finally gonna wake love up and narcos. i'm watching i'm watching telenovelas to learn spanish okay you're gonna wake up thursday morning the the switch flips and you're like ah buenos dias and just, like, like, start narcos, going. i yeah. was like oh yeah i'm like into it whatever watching it whatever and then i eventually just drift off into doing something else and then like 20 minutes later you're like wait a minute i don't speak spanish i don't know what's happening (laughs) oh my god that happens to me like sometimes there was this other show on amazon prime called zero 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 which was like in english spanish and italian and it's like for the moments that were in spanish and italian it's like i would turn around and it's like the same thing where i'm like wait i don't speak Hmm. It's Spanish or Italian. Like, I gotta look at the subtitles. Oh, <laughs> Have you guys, uh, you guys probably haven't seen it, but uh, probably not because it's like a, an adult ish movie on Netflix, but it's called 365 Days. And it's I have, book. I have. <laughs> You oh my gosh. Oh, great. Okay, great. I, oh, I love it. I Tia. feel like there's a, there's a spinoff in the works with John and Tia because you guys watch so much of the same stuff. Why do we keep watching talking about adult stuff on the show today? I don't know. I don't know. We're all just because in a mood, I guess. It's fun today. for everyone. 365 <laughs> days was like what 50 Shades of Grey was trying to do. And it was just. Yeah, I felt that. Oh man, that oh. that lead man. It was, in- oh my gosh, yeah. I love the description. Oh, they're filming. Oh, Katie, uh, please, for wait, the wait, 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 you guys. Now. Wait, Katie, I need you to do the description in your sultry voice. Please. <laughs> 365 days. A woman falls victim to a dominant mafia boss who imprisons her and gives her one year to fall in love with him. 
Yeah, that that is actually that is actually the, the premise of the movie. Yeah. He I mean, it's shorter the than premise kind of makes it sound stupid, but <laughs> no, and, and that's the thing is it's it's so like blatantly erotica that it's like it's like when you watch a Sylvester Stallone movie, you're like, I don't really give a shit what the plot is. I just want to see things blow up. Mm-hmm. And it's yep. like 365 days, like, I don't care what the plot is. I just want to see them do it. We know why you're here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're telling right. me it's like but the like, first season of Outlander. It's, it's yeah. fun yeah. for everyone. It's fun <laughs> for everyone. Like, in, in 365 days, the male character, he only speaks Spanish, I think. And the female Ooh, character is Polish, so uh, Italian. And she's Polish, so she only speaks Polish and he only speaks Italian. But they both speak English. So the whole movie is in English because that's the only common language that they both know. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. I mean, I wasn't paying attention to any of the words in that movie. So. <laughs> we know <laughs> why you're here. <laughs> yeah. But it's not. Look, and I'll just say that I feel like it took them way too long to get to where they needed to be, if I'm being oh. 100% honest. I was like, that boat scene, that took way too long for us to get here. Well, I mean, listen, the end of that movie was, like, insane. That was, like, uh, a telenovela, because you're like, oh, everything's going right, and then it's like, and bam! <laughs> yeah. There's a second movie coming out that is they are now filming, so... Oh, 366 yeah. Days? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> By the way, fun fact about that movie, I think mm-hmm. both actors had to come out and say like those sex scenes were not real because they're so convincing Ooh, that you're like really? there's no way the two of them weren't doing it. Honestly, <laughs> like, wow. honestly they are. Power and television this is movie. on Netflix. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Yo, we got a lot, like, lot, lot of raunchy stuff you. on Netflix. Like Netflix <laughs> has got some raunchy stuff on there. No need you. to go to Red Tube. I must have missed the raunchy category on Netflix. <laughs> it should be recommended for you, Katie, given it your background not. with Cirillas. Hmm. Boy, <laughs> <is that. laughs> my work life and my personal life are very separate. I don't I don't know if anybody has any binges or books. I do know we need to uh, watch our time because we're recording leading up to the the kind of nerdy dude nugget, which goes mm. live at seven uh, <gasps> every other Wednesday. Uh, in the kind of nerdy network, but I did see today. I said I was gonna say some nice things about DC, so I, 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 I'm a woman of my word. Hmm. Um, we have to each think of one nice thing to say. Okay. okay. Well, I'll oh, tell God. you that that what they announced oh, today was not in the DC EU, so I think that's why I was like, oh, cool. And it was more uh, animated stuff. So there is a new there's a new Batman animated series that's coming out. But what? Of uh, course, co- there is. I know you can't have enough Batman, Jonna. Settle down. I'm not even going to die again. I'm not (laughs) diving into the Batman because no one here wants to talk about Batman. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But the the Superman animated series that's coming out is My Adventures with Superman, and Jack Quaid is going to be voicing Superman. I found this incredibly interesting, and thinking about his voice, I think he'll be good at it. But Jack is. The guy in the boys who he's the one whose girlfriend gets gets smushed Blown up. at the it's beginning smushed. of the, yes, literally like literally smushed combust. out of yeah, smushed out of existence. He's gonna voice <laughs> Superman. He's gonna voice Superman. Nobody cares. Oh, come on. I think that'll be nobody really cool. cares. I don't know. I don't really I mean who's nobody cares. Nobody Martha. cares. Nobody cares. Who's voicing? Nobody Martha? cares. Nobody who's cares. Nobody Martha? cares. Uh, Katie, you, that's you what can matters. Voice yeah. <laughs> I don't think I have it in me to be that sympathetic to Superman, right? Because <laughs> guess what? You could you could have The Rock voice Superman. It doesn't mean a damn bit of difference because he's a boring it ass character. It doesn't matter what you, you think. think. You right. Thank you. you right. Like if you're gonna say The Rock you right. and it doesn't, you have to say it doesn't matter that's what fair. you think. That's 100 percent fair. You. You, you totally lost an opportunity. Yes, <laughs> what the rock is cooking? You gotta do the eyebrow. Where's I the eyebrow? I can't, I can't, I can't lift my eyebrow. I can't do it. I can't. Oh, do the, the people's one eyebrow. eyebrow? That'd be great. Uh, yeah. yeah, I can't do uh, it. I yeah, I don't think I can either. I'm trying. How's that? That's not. I it. can't. Both yeah. my eyebrows you know, go up stop. when I try and do it. And you know, Kate, I can't. Katie's doing a good job. Katie's doing that. <laughs> 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 yeah, now there's no way I can do that because I have that 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 
part of my face that's broken that I can't I can't wiggle my nose. It only goes one way. It doesn't <laughs> go this way. It goes this way, but not that way. Some of us can't wiggle our noses at all. Really? Yeah, I can't. Huh. I mean, yep. Okay. Well, I can yeah. really, really like get this it. This is such way. good. I can get it. How is I this get, easy? Oh, sorry, guys. I forget that we're recording a, a <laughs> podcast. Sorry, guys. Listen, if you were a patron, if you're, you're going to love this. If you were a patron, you could see how far my nose goes. I'm going to need you way. to zoom in okay. on KJ's nose, please. <laughs> <laughs> it goes that way. I don't know what. Uh, it, uh, can you see that? But uh, it won't go the other way. Uh, that's it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Fun fact about me my nose only goes one way. <laughs> Anyway, Harry Potter uh, news today. Uh, it, it's They're coming up on the 20th anniversary, which is like, what is happening? There's going to be two specials coming out this year. And one of them is going to be like the retrospective that you would expect from, you know, a 20 year anniversary. But the other one's going to be a game show. It's going to be a trivia game oh, show. Shelly and I should team up. We'll crush this. Katie, the, there's a link in the story. I, I posted it. I think I shared it to the Kind of Nerdy Network. It's on my KJ On Air Facebook page. They're casting for it right now. <clears throat> like, you can be a part of it. And then even if you don't get cast for it, there's going to be an interactive element like we can play along at home. So I thought that was, you know, like, as far as like, how are you going to celebrate a 20th anniversary? I think that'll be Hmm. a fun way to like get the fans together. So both both of get those will be on HBO Max. I think the game show's also going to be on TBS, but that'll be late they said later this year. So it's Can I it's throw coming a, a soon. A quick fun fact about me? Yeah. I've never read the books or seen any single Harry Potter. Oh my movie. god, you and Johnny oh need god, to go get to your podcast. <laughs> Can I leave? Yeah, I love you so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you guys like? Are you guys like like twin souls? Like did, did you guys just become best friends? Yo. <laughs> no, can I say like really quick? Because I know like we're pressed for time and everything. I had oh, a friend. Fine. I had a friend growing up who loved the Harry Potter series so much that she literally, literally memorized every word verbatim of the first chapter of the first book, and she would recite it at school and she's like mr and mrs Weasley are perfectly normal people thank you very much and it's like i you know she would say it and i'd be like i don't ever want to know what this is <laughs> y'all didn't live until you lived through that era where people were spoiling the last book and people were like straight up trying to kill each other yes <laughs> yeah that was like I the best era in history I lived through the era of being in college during the Team Jacob and Team uh, oh, Edward oh, era. Right. So, you know, that was a very interesting time as well. That, <laughs> is, where, that, that, is, on. that is where you and Jonna diverge because Jonna is a Twihard. Yeah, and I've never seen any of the Twilight movies ever. I the only the only Twilight movie I ever had any desire to see I forget which one it is, but Lee Pace is in it. And it's only because. Oh, Lee yeah. Pace mm. Yeah, right? Lee Pace. Fine Lee man. Pace is Fine nice. Man. Lee nice. Pace, get, get that picture. It's the most <laughs> ridiculous picture. You guys have no idea. Lee Pace is like seven foot ten. He's I tall. I love it. He is so <laughs> freaking tall. Uh, the picture. Round is my favorite. You cannot even look at that. Oh, I'm standing. My God. I am standing on my tiptoes and wearing heels and in that picture. And he's leaning like, over. I think you don't even touch his nipple. Like. I know. <laughs> it's it was, it, it oh, was, was awkward for both of us. Because if, was he hadn't last... leaned, if he hadn't leaned over and I hadn't stood on my to tippy toes as high as I could, like... I literally, like, my head was in his crotch. I don't even <laughs> understand how tall Lee paces. It doesn't even make sense. It's it was, not mathematically. But it was too late. Like, I walked in the room, and I'd like, to get my picture with him. And I'm like, he is so fucking tall. Oh, my God. I should not stand next to this guy. This is embarrassing. Is there a stool I can stand on? I'm about to say, can you a stool? Well, uh, it's they, like they can bend over, they, like they kind on his of knees. Like warned you so you could have worn like six inch heels that day, like just yeah. that day going in. Six they can do that heels. thing when you take pictures with kids, like you hunch over, like down on one knee. <laughs> that's I mean, that's weird. basically what he's doing. Like he's like leaning down so that his crotch is not like 
basically at my mouth. <laughs> There's so many things I could say and I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's something about recording on Wednesdays. That's a family friendly this, show. Such a, uh, this a, episode a, is not. <laughs> this episode is not family friendly. I apologize for that. We're on it. Um, Pat, I, I am going to uh, get out of here so that Patches can get his dude nugget going. What's up, Jada? I had a binge. You had a binge? Okay. What's your yes, and What's your I, I know we're not supposed to talk about other podcasts except Ooh. for like geek vibes and our podcast and kind of nerdy dudes and paranormal. It's all podcasts. good. We podcast but community I, loves each other. I've been listening to I'm All In with Scott Patterson. Oh, it's great. It's so good. This is the podcast Scott Patterson plays Luke in Gilmore Girls. He's never watched a show. He's doing a podcast right now where he reviews all of the episodes and is sharing his feelings about what happens. Yes during Gilmore Girls. It is fantastic. I'm glad that you brought that up, Jonna. It's definitely, if you are a Gilmore Girls fan, go listen to Scott Patterson's I only have like one complaint about it and is that I think that Scott is too close to the microphone all the time. Oh my God, I'm too close. He needs some lessons from Katie on how to do You can get close if you whisper. (laughs) It's fun for everyone. I hate you guys. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Good night. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Love you. Love you. Bye. <laughs>